right um so please start unit 2 you will read the question and then give the answer yourself please start okay so, uh, what is your greatest strength Good. my greatest strength uh, i never give up uh, there is some problem it's not magic <laughs> I'll help you now. Now this is present tense, okay? Try with, uh, try putting is present tense. Try. Uh, okay. Um, what is your greatest strength? Don't think. Just say. Just say. Okay. Repeat the question. Uh, what is your greatest strength? Uh, I never give up. Good. That is my greatest strength. Good. Sir, can I say it in another way? I will say, sir, please take it. Uh, my greatest strength is never giving up. That's correct. Okay. Okay. Strength Thank is you, sir. never giving up. That's fine. That's okay. Um, that's okay. Good. Continue. Second question, mm. what is your greatest weakness? Good. I think too much. That is my greatest weakness, I think. Good. Mm. Tell me about your uh, father. Good. My father is an entrepreneur. He is into cinema. Good. Tell me about your mother. My mother, my mother is a good housewife. Good. Tell me about your siblings. Good. I have uh, an elder sister. She works for a, a software company. Um, she, uh, she works as a senior account executive. Super. Uh, second question. Ah, tell me about your friends. Good. I have two best friends. Good. One of them studies okay. at the university. Repeat, repeat the re repeat the question. Repeat the answer. Tell me about your best friends. Good. I have two best friends. Good. One of them studies at a university. Good. Uh, she is also uh, following the biosystem technology degree mm -hmm. and um, other best friend of mine um, work uh, studies um, at a, what how to call it, a teaching college Wonderful. Uh, she wants to. very good so uh, these are small things now because it's two then it becomes special then you can say the other best friend because because it's two, they are special yeah. to you, right? Very good. Okay. Um, so, uh, we'll try again. These are small uh, things. Uh, very good. Continue. Uh -huh. Tell me about your best friends. I have two best friends. Uh, one of them studies at a university. Uh, the other best friend uh, studies um, at a teaching college to become a teacher. Very good. Next question. Uh, tell me about your uncles and aunties. Good. Uh, no, 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 it should be... See the question, keep it in the plural because you will not say, tell me about your uncles and auntie. You will say, tell me about your uncles and aunties. But the answer okay. can be in singular because if it is singular, that's fine. Yes. Good. Tell me about your uncles and aunties. Good. Uh, I have uh, six uncles. Good. Um, they all are retired. Uh, they work as a uh, uh, government employees. Uh, there was uh, okay. Uh, there's a small thing. Um, it's a bad habit. I also have it. Uh, hitana, hitana, thinking. Uh, uh, that thinking uh, will get confused with a house. 
a car, a horse, a book. Then it becomes a uh, a book. That is a dekai. Have you there? So it, many people have that bad habit. Even uh, news readers on BBC have that. Cut. Watch any petal, you know. If it is boy, you know, a hangi, you know, boy, you know. Eh, man, novi, you know, balan, you know. Right? So if you unnecessarily say a. Uh, I will. I will not tell you what you did. I will just get you to repeat. Okay. Okay. Sir. Very good. Right. Please repeat. I uh, tell me your uncles and aunties. I have six. About. Sorry, I have. About. Oh. Try again. Yes. Tell. Uh, tell me about your uncles and aunties. Good. I have six uncles. Good. Uh, they all are retired. Good. Mm-hmm. They all, they all uh, were uh, government uh, employees. Good. Mm-hmm. There, uh, there was a lecturer and accountant um, and two par- two farmers. Fine. Better to say they worked as and go in the plural. They were as. They worked as accountants, so it, farmers, like that. Uh, 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 so, uh, but there is uh, only one accountant. Okay. So why you? Fine. So then you can say they. You can say most of them. You can say one was a farmer. The mm. others were accountants. Yes. Good. Again. Okay. Um, tell me about your uncles and aunties. I have six uncles. Good. They all are retired. Oh. They were government employee employees. Mm-hmm. One was an uh, accountant. Uh, one was a uh, lecturer. Um, two were farmers. That's fine. Good. Uh, tell me about your aunties. Good. Um, they all are uh, retired. Uh, they also uh, government. They were. They also were government teachers. Good. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's very good. Wonderful, wonderful. Well done. So that's that's the end of unit two. So I think. Um, I have two more questions. I can't uh, tell me about your spouse, yes. partner. Yes. yes. Uh, tell me about your spouse or partner. I'm single. Good. The last question is, I think, tell me about your cousins. Good. I have t- uh, I have more than ten cousins. Um, Good. they all are well educated. Good. Um. Most of them um, graduated from the government universities in Sri Lanka, um, and uh, now they hold uh, good uh, professional positions in good companies. Absolutely super. Well done. Uh, so, um, the one uh, one is a doctor, mm-hmm. and um, one is a lawyer, good. and others also work. And others also hold good positions in good companies. Very good, well done. So that's the end of unit two, but you will have to do that again, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Because no point going ahead when you make even the smallest mistake, right? So so watch this video, practice, and write down the answers also. You write the question, write the answer, then it registers very well, okay? So you are doing very well. So practice that. And I, so I practice that questions. The last day you said then I practice more than one hour that questions, but then again the, I memorize those it. Those questions. Yeah. Those. Okay. Uh, I memorize those questions in this um, that week, but when I'm presenting, I think that is my problem. No, it's not a problem. You have to revise every day. 
you have to you have to allocate time every day for mm. english at least half an you have to budget see budget your day and the amount of time you decide you decide to give to english you have to give it every day otherwise you lose the form the world's best athletes before before any competition they ensure that they have the form so same thing with english so you you have to study every day say say you studied hard last week yes you you won't get that form like this right so you have to have the english form so this is why every day best thing is to teach someone because uh, when you study alone it, it's very productive but it's more effective when you teach others right okay. so um, so that's what it is don't leave, don't leave a big gap between classes and the classes can be very short it doesn't it can be 5 minutes 10 minutes but you need to put in the effort and budget time so how much time do you plan to give for english every day more than one hour okay so more than one hour i used uh, pra- i practice english and i write some stories uh, mm-hmm. and uh, in my own words i write uh, so, uh, some stories mm-hmm. uh, then yes that i am doing the thing is, and i the thing is to- the thing is whatever you do has to be corrected otherwise you will be repeating the mistakes do you get it so you have to get corrected otherwise um you may be increasing the problem so i will send that uh, stories to you so i will read and send it for that i will write some conversations okay what uh, we have no it's like this now i have time limitation so what we can do is you write the story Uh, we will do a trial and see you you write the story and you read it sentence by sentence in class right and i will uh, make five corrections and then after that you have to practice that and then do it because no point practicing without correcting okay, someone has to correct you otherwise you'll be repeat you will reinforce your mistakes that's bad that's dangerous you know it's like uh, yes. uh, you you get what i'm saying right if there's a mistake now say you have a kakule kakule ayana kila katta ekka roka avidin avidin anena ne ne da avidin avidin athul tana e wage thamai english grammar mistake ekak thiyena na oka ai karanna karanna oka hama tanta ma ringa ganna mistake ekak ringa ganna hama tanta ma etakota eka eka aran arinna wenama mahansiyak wenna one වෙනම මහන්සියක් වෙන්න ඕනේ. ඒක හන්දා ඒ අතින් ඒ අතින් ඉංග්‍රීසි වෙලාම අඩු වෙන තරමට හොඳයි ප්‍රැක්ටිස් කරන්න. මොකද හයි ක්වොලිටි පොඩ්ඩක් ඉතාම වටිනවා. මේ වැරදියට ගොඩක් කරන එක බහනකයි. ඇයි වරදි නෑ ග්‍රෑම ඔක්කොම අප්සෙට් යනවනේ. ඔක්කොම අබලන් වෙනවා. ඒක හරියට මේ ඩීසල් කාර් එකකට පෙට්‍රෝල් ගහලා දිව්ව වගේ. ඒක පෙට්‍රෝල් කාර් එකේ ඩීසල් ගහලා දිව්ව වගේ. ඩැමේජ් වෙනවා ග්‍රෑම සිස්ටම් එක. ග්‍රෑම හරි ඒක හන්දා ඔකේ ෆස්ට් යු 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 කම්ප්ලීට් දිස් යුනිට් ඩු දිස් අගේන් රයිට් වෙනම කරන්න එපා වෙනම කරන්න එපා මොකද මේ බේසික් ග්‍රෑමර් ටික හදා ගන්න ඕනේ තේරෙනවා මම කියන දේ වෙන මුහුද් කරන්න යන්න එපා ඉංග්‍රීසි හරිද මේක මේක ඉක්මනට හදා ගන්න හරිද මේක හදාගෙන ස්ටෙප් බයි ස්ටෙප් යා ගොඩක් කරන්න එපා right okay okay so finish you need to really fast and uh, best thing is write write down the answer now watch the recording and check it word for word okay and then when you're ready let me know okay all the best okay. thank you sir take care bye